A stream of people is arriving in the Swedish capital Stockholm. Among the thousands of tourists and residents, migrants coming to work illegally also slip through. An investigation by Sweden's TV4 and RFERL has uncovered a scheme to provide them with official tax authority numbers, helping them to gain employment. At least one of the people involved even ended up working as a cleaner for the Swedish border police. This man is a migrant from Uzbekistan. He says he met a man who was able to unlock a back door to Sweden's labour market. To protect his identity, TV4 gave him the name Jazur, and his voice has been replaced. My friends met him. I got to know him through my friends. Fick du betala för att han skulle hjälpa dig med det här? About two hundred dollars at that time. Right now, I don't know how much they pay. This library in a suburb of Stockholm was the unlikely spot to seal the deal. Jazur handed over his passport and some money to a man that TV4 gave the pseudonym Akmal. He told me to wait a while. He said I get to work. I get to open a bank account and to pay taxes. Akmal was going to register a used car in Jazur's name. This is done at the National Transport Agency, Transport Styrelsen. It sends a note to the tax office because Jazur doesn't have a Swedish social security number. The tax authority gave him something very similar called a coordination number. This number changes everything. Man låser up ingången till Sverige. Man låser up möjligheten att jobba här, man låser upp möjligheten att skaffa sig konton här, man, att, att uh, skaffa sig en adress här. Our investigation found that Akmal used an address in this residential building for the fake car transaction. Documents from the transport agency show the address used to register used cars more than a thousand times in the last three years. When we visit, Akmal isn't home, so we phone him up. Jag skulle bara vilja prata med dig och visa dig för jag, när jag tittar på det så ser det ut som det är du som har hjälpt dem. Ja. Most of the thousand or so people who gained tax authority numbers from Akmal were men, but there were also some women. This is one of them, also from Uzbekistan. She says women with these identity numbers are vulnerable to sexual exploitation. We also replaced her voice to protect her identity. I was offered a job if I agreed to work for free for one week. When that week came to an end, they gave me a choice. Either you sleep with the boss or you won't get the job. What choice do you have? Many women turn their faces away, think about their children and go through with it. They go along with it. They do it because they have to. They need the money to support their children. I couldn't go through with it. The paper trail shows the people who gained tax identity numbers through Akmal have worked in the construction, cleaning and catering sectors. They worked at this Stockholm University hospital and here at the largest shopping mall in Scandinavia. Many of them told us they worked long hours for less than the minimum wage and were often not paid at all. The work is often outsourced via various agencies. The companies concerned have said they were not doing anything wrong intentionally. But leading fraud specialist Anders Birkenheim is skeptical. Vi ställer inga frågor. Det har ett samordningsnummer. Kanske som har ett bankkonto. Totalt, tillsammans svartarbete och alltihopa, så är det här ingenting annat än myndighetsassisterat slavarbete. In any case, both workers and employers are breaking the law. And Björkenheim showed us online ads that openly offered used car trades as a way of obtaining coordination numbers, called samordningsnummer in Swedish. Akmal, it seems, is not the only person exploiting a loophole to channel illegal cheap labour in Sweden.